Hi, I'm Steve Meyer. I'm the director of the Center for Science and Culture, and I just wanted to record a short message here with my friend David Klinghoffer, who's on the other side of the, the iPhone here. We just wanted to thank you for your interest and support this year, and also give you a little update on some of the highlights that we've had this year. A year ago, uh, I attended uh, the Royal Society Conference that was evaluating the current status of evolutionary theory. And at that meeting of about 200 scientists, there were about 20 scientists who were favorable to the theory of intelligent design. So uh, we knew there was uh, quite a lot of shift of opinion, and one of the leading scientists who spoke at the Royal Society last year started with a talk on the explanatory deficits of neo-Darwinism, speaking as a mainstream, uh, a mainstream evolutionary biologist. And uh, so we, we found it kind of ironic this year that just as many mainstream evolutionary biologists are acknowledging the, for example, lack of creative power associated with the mutation natural selection mechanism, that we've got many so-called theistic evolutionists or evolutionary creationists, people in the religious world who feel that they need to, uh, in effect, baptize the Darwinian theory as the way in which God created. Well, if the mechanism lacks creative power, we thought it seemed a little odd to equate God's creative power with the mechanism of uh, natural selection and random mutation. So this year, uh, we kind of changed our focus a little bit and decided to take on some of these theistic evolutionists or evolutionary creationists and challenge their viewpoint. Uh, the secular Darwinists are coming around, they're seeing that their, their main, uh, the main evolutionary theory lacks a mechanism that has true creativity. The new evolutionary mechanisms haven't really solved big problems like the origin of form and information. Uh, so we decided to retrain our focus on some of the folks in the uh, theistic evolutionary world. And you may know we came out with a big book this year, Theistic Evolution, a scientific, philosophical, and uh, theological critique. I was also uh, privileged to be part of a conversation about evolution, creation, and intelligent design. And there was a four views book with different contributors, young earth creationists, old earth creationists, theistic evolutionists, and I represented the intelligent design point of view. Another resource, I think, pretty good reading if you're into the debate with a, a, a spirited back and forth. But uh, beyond that, we've just had a really great year here this year. We've had uh, nine books published by some of our leading authors. Michael Denton has come out with another book in, this, in his series on, the, on biological fitness called The Wonders of Water. Uh, Jonathan Wells has come out with his book Zombie Science, and uh, his earlier book, Icons of Evolution, has been translated into Russian. Uh, Tom Bethel has written a great book called House of Cards, which is kind of short history of the intelligent design movement, won a, won a Book of the Year award with uh, World Magazine. So we've come out with a lot of books, 177 articles or book chapters, it's been a very productive year. We couldn't do it without your support. And we love the, the, uh, the, the, the connection we have with many, many listeners and viewers through social media. ENV is going gangbusters, over a million viewers this year, or users, and, uh, and or, sorry, Evolution News and Science Today, our newly named uh, web-based uh, uh, science magazine edited by David Klinghoffer. So, We've had a really great year, but the key thing is we know we're indebted to you for your, your support and your help, and we want to thank you for that and wish you happy holidays.